Hey folks, welcome to another round of modern. We have Christian Fuller playing Rector Sacrifice Artifacts Artifacts versus Michael Babson on uh, Naya Vivian Pod. I think it's Naya. I'm gonna commit to Naya. Naya Pod. So if you don't know how this deck works, uh, it plays the brand new Vivian on the Hunt Planeswalker, the six mana Planeswalker, and it, I believe it's uptake ability. Is you sacrifice a creature, go into your deck looking, and you get to put a creature with one one more CMC onto the board for free, uh, and you can do shenanigans with that. Said shenanigans are, you use Plane Bout Accomplice from Modern Horizons 1, which has an activated ability of one red, put a Planeswalker onto the board, uh, sacrifice at the end step. So, after that, put Vivian on the board, Vivian pop or sacrifice the dude, go into the deck, go get Felidar Guardian, flicker the... Uh, the Vivian, the Vivian that sacrifices the Felidar Guardian, it goes in and gets the Karmic Guide. The Karmic Guide brings back the Felidar Guardian. You do the Vivian again, you sack the Karmic Guide, I believe the Kiki Jiki, and then you just make a crap ton of, uh, crap ton of things and just kill your opponent. If that is not exactly correct, I apologize. Uh, game one, we had technical difficulties. As you can see, it says 0 1. Michael Mapson did win game one. Um, Yes, yeah, so there's technical difficulties. It's a great time. Uh, it looks like a PowerPoint presentation, much like the Promise Neverland Season 2 ending. Um, so, I just opted to not show it. In case you're curious as to what happened, it was about five minutes long. Mapson hit the combo, killed Christian. Didn't redo the full combo, just showed that he could do it, showed he didn't have the, uh, any of the targets in hand, and Christian was like, alright, cool, let's go to the next game. Christian is playing his Rakdos Sacrifice Artifacts deck, which plays a lot of standard guards, which isn't a negative thing. Um, it's pretty cool. We've had it on camera a couple times now, and it does some pretty nice things. That's a Voldaren Epicure here that is just attacked into a Renin 6. Christian has an Onicol Anvil on the board. I see a Ravenous Squirrel in his hand. There's a lot of cool synergy. He doesn't have a green source, does he? He has a Mire. He can always fetch an Overgrown Tomb. I imagine he's playing Overgrown to him. I hope so. Um, it'd feel weird to play, to not play in your three color deck. But well, that's not really three colors. I guess it's it's red black that can play or can use a green source. But yeah, got some cool interactions in there. Archbound Ravager, and you make it really big, and then sacrifice to Obnixilus the adversary. There comes the squirrel. The squirrel gets really big whenever you sacrifice a creature or an artifact, put a one one counter on it. Uh, which coincides with most of the deck. You're sacrificing a lot of artifacts. You got the only cold anvil fact, you got uh, you can make treasures off Ragaban, those sacrifice, blood token sacrifice, Arcbound Ravager's whole thing is sacrificing uh, artifacts. So a lot of a lot of cool interactions there. Epson Zek. I'm playing out some basics. Doing some running six things. Not having a land to pick up the graveyard, that's kind of unfortunate. So I'm taking pass. So are we gonna see the two one ones kill the red and six? Here comes an Erborg, the Tomb of Ogmoth. I always just said Tomb of Yugmoth, and I don't know how to feel about that. There's an Arcbound Ravager coming out. I can't really tell what the heck's in his hand. Oh, I know what that is. That's the, uh, well, it's like Shrapnel Blast. It's like two mana, sacrifice an artifact, deal five damage to target creature or player. Okay. This going to attack. Michael, or Madison is going to flash in uh, an Endurance here. I'll let the trigger resolve and fetch. Is going to sack his blood stain mire. <sighs> Grab a basic mountain. Okay. Again, I wonder if he plays. I I have his. I've sent his deck list at some point. He makes it on Moxfield, and he never changes the name, so it's always like banana hammock. 44 or something like that. Mm. 
Good vlogs. It's all you. Brain hurt. You can pack this yourself. Yeah. Banana buttercream combo 13. That is the name of the deck list on the Scryfall. And uh, no, there are no green sources in this deck. Oh, so we are deliberating here, I think, on what we're going to block. But you have to block the squirrel, because you can just like, grow the squirrel to a massive size. I guess you probably don't need to activate the squirrel's effect ever, right? What exactly is this mana sink ability? Two TCG play. Here we go. Ravenous squirrel fudge. One black, one green. Second artifact, you gain a life in the Yeah, it's a man. Three nano. It'd be cute to do it. I guess you could, like, sack a treasure. Like a draw card. The endurance is dead. We now have a 4 4 squirrel. So it's drawn a lot of basics. So that is interesting. I, I, so I like combo decks a lot. Uh, so Vivian Pot existing is really cool. It also plays uh, the Devoted Druid Luxior stuff for the infinite mana combo. So I, and I know there's a card in the Great Creator in the deck, so I imagine there's a Walking Blist in the side, potentially one in the main board as well. Right, Ren's just going to ping the Epicure. The $90 Planeswalker has sacrificed himself to deal with the 10 cent, uh, 30 cent standard common. I will say, that card is actually just really good. Full Dying Epicure is like actually a good card. And since like, rocking those Chain Bound by Shadow Sleeves, if you play Flesh and Blood at all, the character just won the first ever Pro Tour. Got a really sweet design with the like, planet coming in on the background. Moon crashing in, whatever the heck that is. This looks sick. Cotton the Great Creator come out. Going to up to here. Look at this sideboard. Not exactly sure. What? Would be good here. Tormont Crypt would be pretty decent. Plus, Engineered Explosives could be good to blow up one drops. Uh, hmm. Snaring Bridge, maybe? Endurance the jumps right in front of that squirrel. There's a Witch's Oven. Ironically, after Red dies, Mapsford finds the fetch land. Trying to do a downtick here. We're going to get. Uh, looks like we're thinking about engineered explosives. Eee, such a good card. Folks, you remember when EE was like $90 a piece? Now they're like 10 to 15, and it's beautiful. There you they were egregiously cheap for a while, actually, but... Yeah. He's gonna pop the E in what looked like the upkeep. He's going to shrapnel blast sack in the witch's oven, targeting the Karn the Great Creator. Just going to kill Karn. And passes the turn, but Absent's going to fetch. <laughs> ah, it is Naya. I knew that. It was Faldar Guardian's White. So is Karma Guide. Though I don't think you have a really... Well, you can cast the... Uh, the Faldar Guide. You probably don't want to cast a Karma Guide. But... A 
if it's the difference between you winning and losing, you're probably going to try and cast it. Bruh. I'm trying to... So I know... Stop. Is it Doom Lake? Somebody had a, a Yorion version of the deck that also played the Saheeli Cat combo that was four color. And that was kind of interesting. Of course, it's just like the argument, right? Like, you know, you're playing Yorion. But... Let's just find 20 more good cards and put it in my deck. Companions were a mistake. Also, if you hear noises in the background, that is because there is construction going outside in my parking lot of my complex. I'm not sure. They're like tearing up all the pavement, I think. Or just like redoing the pipes. There is a sheet of paper. I didn't read it. Karn's gonna uptick here. Ooh. Alright, let's get a fish for a liquid metal coating. Go to grab said liquid metal or play said li yeah, play the liquid metal coating. And upkeep just gonna turn the blood crypt into an artifact, which means it cannot be tapped for mana this turn. Is he playing about accomplice in Absent's hand? Is he just missing Zipian? Is there no tutor effect for planeswalk? No, he could play like Oath of Nissa, right? Oh, good that is. What else does Oath of Nissa hit? Is it non creature, non land? I just typed in T to my search bar. No, I want TCG player. Oath of Nissa. Bruh. It's six bucks now. Good lord. Thanks, Elementals. Uh, ETB, you may reveal a creature, land, or planeswalker. Yeah, it's pretty decent. I mean, you get Ren, Nissa, Planebound Accomplice. I don't know. It might actually be pretty decent in the deck. It might be something that the 80 card version plays because they're just trying to find more good stuff. But. Also, did TCG player update again? Why does it look like this? But you do get your land if you want to cast. Yep. Yep. Okay. Karn has died of death. Uh, so he sacrificed the land that liquid metal coating made it made into an artifact uh, as part of the shrapnel blast effect, which also will then trigger. And he can only pull anvil. I don't know how many shrapnel blasts. Uh, I think <laughs> maps and. I know there's something with a besiege. I don't know if they've done that yet. Uh, where Mastin wanted to besiege you in response while Karn was still on the board. They like talked it over. And they're like, yeah, sure, yeah, it's fine. As both people are friends in this match. Also, it's basically FNM level. While well, we strive for competitive games, sometimes, you know, between friends. There's a devoted druid. Pass the turn. This game's not looking great for our young hero. Alright, tax it for three. Gonna block the little with the druid. Hmm. Please a tap uh black leaf glyphs. Carly Great Creator coming out. Looks like we're thinking about getting Luxior. Ooh, the Chalice on the sideboard's also really, really cute.
Folks, what are you playing with in modern right now? Do you find anything cool that you're like, this deck gets me going. It's sick. I like to resolve Ledger Shredder and draw a bunch of cards. Because I understand if that's the case. Ledger Shredder, very fun to play with. Currently is my go-to jam. I've been like, <laughs> I've been debating, how do I shove it into as many decks as possible? I'm playing it in both Modern and Legacy currently. I'm trying to think. Yeah, because it's in my prowess deck, and then I have it in Doomsday as well. That's a weird tempo card. It's the weird tempo Doomsday pile. One of my favorite Yo, things. Hold on. You have to equip, and you have to cast it. You also have to tap your Goes cast against Luxor. Your... I don't know. Oh, that's hooked up. Yeah, you definitely can't yeah. equip that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Opting maybe to not go and get Luxor. I think realizing that's he's a, I think a mana short, right? My neighbors outside are having a great time. Here comes playing about plain bound accomplice. I wonder if that card shot up. That card was like cheap forever. So we're gonna get a series of sh <laughs> like this is what you should be buying if you want to play X deck. Foil shot up, Jesus Christ. Who are foils in there? I don't know. It's like a $2 card. It's not bad. Modern Horizons 1, baby. Modern Horizons 1. Oh, hey, Rent's down to 70. I mean, there's a reprint coming, but hey, Rent's coming down to 70 bucks. Force Negation, still at $70. Your market watch of the day. I'm sure there's a channel out there who does magic market watches. I think I forgot Tiger Lands. Okay, I'm Engineer off that experimental synthesizer. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm still thinking about what to get with cards. As happy as I am that Lurus is gone, I kind of was interested in the uh, Lurus synthesizer deck. Or the Rakdo Sacrifice deck that played uh, Anikon Anvil Synthesizer, Experimental Synthesizer. as like a draw engine, and yeah, it looks cool. Gotta block the one on the plane about accomplice. Actually, the Maps can just draw Vivian. I'm pretty sure he wins the game, right? This feels really bad. Uh, with the damage so marked on that, I'm gonna Cosmic's return. Oh, Christian's going to cast Cosmic's return. Doing four damage to all the creatures on the board. He is your karmic guide. No cards in hand? No, sir. I'll target a blood grid. Blow it up. To start, like, yeah, as I said, to start like, wastelanding your opponent. Or build your, yeah, build your own wasteland. Build your own strip mine. Technically, but better. Checking the old sideboard again. I say Feldar Guardian. Going to flicker the card in the Great Creator. Yep. It's going to get a Tormod's Crypt. Oh, that's pretty cute.
the little coating here. Just pop in the oh, one land there. Hacking with the fellow dark guard hidden for one. We are on the one <laughs> is it a one four? One three. We are beaten down with the tiny creature. Right, getting shrapnel blasted on the corn again. Right, after the fetch, we tap Temple Garden. He draws Karma Guide, and he, draw, <laughs> he can play his Karma Guide out. Mapson has a 15 turn clock. Mapson no longer has a 15 turn clock. I should have gotten a sword trigger. Maybe that's what we should have done. Alright, Torbot gets popped. Exile in the yard. We're gonna bolt the squirrel. Texan for one, goes to 14. Ah, you've been punished. Christian dashes out of Ragavan. Absent bolts the Ragavan. Draw Shadow Spear. Plays and equips Shadow Spear. Passes the turn. Okay, interesting. Still just respecting Ragavan, I suppose. Archon Ravager. Someone Urza Saga, okay. That's gonna be a big game. Let's go. I'm just drawing so many lands. Yep. Since I was going to find an Urza Saga. Jeez, the synthesizer say you can play it. I mean it makes sense, it only reveals one card, but holy crap. Yes, you can. Oh boy. Go. It is also, I think, until the end of that turn. So, right, here's the concert coming out. Currently a three-three. About to be a lot bigger. It's, it's tilting. To say the least. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not even supposed to have this card in, but I'm pretty sure I am. But I'm pretty sure I was supposed I to have fired it off. I haven't looked at peanut butter monkey butts yet. I don't know what the Christmas tree list is like. Alright, searches for a pithy needle. That's probably going to name Vivian on the hunt. <laughs> Vivian on the hunt. I don't, I don't think that's her name. I think it is, actually. Vivian on the hunt? Yep. Vivian, comma, on the hunt. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five artifacts on the board. Going to attack him. And Maps is just going to scoop it up. Cannot race or beat the Pithy Needle. So Christian's going to take game two. We'll be right back with game three, folks. I don't know what you're supposed to do with that. And we are back with game three, folks. Maps is going to be able to play here. So we are fetching out. I'm going to say it's a stomping ground. Plays it in Noble Hierarch. Passes the turn. I hope that reminds me. Well, I mean, like, at Eponym, is she, like, I'm not sure. Ooh. Okay, I thought it was bad. I have to buy new Yogg Moths. Oh no, why did you minimize? What's going on? <laughs> I don't want you full screen. Oh boy. Tactical difficulties. By tactical difficulties, I mean I'm an idiot. There's the Blackleaf Cliffs. Uh, I think this is the game where Mapson had left in uh, the wish targets. For Kari and Christmas, so just take them out of your deck, it's fine. Are you not putting the one in your hand back? 
I feel like it's kind of coming unless you just want me to draw a random card. I, that's what I figured. Alright. Cool. Now that my program is back to the correct size, it had like shrunk and I was <laughs> staring at the, can the preview monitor while trying to fix it. Like, ah. Right, I'm going to draw for turn. I'm not draw for turn. We're going to draw to fix the sideboard issue. FNM. Friendly Night Magic. Ah! Alright, Maps is going to fetch. Plays out a Ren 6. Ren is probably just going to ping the Ragavan. I feel like there's not reason to. There's reason really to. Not, there's no reason to not do it. I know English words. I don't. I do, in fact, not know what I'm talking about. Crimson are going to play Urza Saga. I think we are deliberating on a play. I think Christian is trying to be like, do I respect the combo and leave the mana open, or do I try to progress my board state? There's a Goblin Engineer, to which Mapson has revealed that he has the combo, and will in fact kill him on the following turn. Alright folks, well thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, that's true.